we have one more time in this chapter that we can spend, I believe, with a social link person. Now, I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot at this point whom we do spend time with. Because I can't spend time with Kaido, it would appear. Kokichi's done. Kibo's only at one. She has nothing. She's done. And she has nothing. So I kind of want to spend some time with her. Because, I mean, I get points for doing it anyway, as far as to spend on abilities, so... Let's at least do one. Hey. Yeah, I doubt Monokuma has any concept of the term space. Personal space, anyway. Yes, let's call it a mixed juice drink. I tried one of Sumungi's signature cocktails at her lab. Sure. For all I know, this is my last chance, so... Weird. You're weird. Uh, hmm. Samugi, you keep calling yourself plain, but I really don't think you are. Despite the plain Greek yogurt you just ate. No. Yeah, I'm not just trying to be polite. Actually. Preach, sister. When you think about quiet and smart kids, you picture them in glasses. What? A lot of professional athletes wear glasses. You can't. True story, I've actually tried to uh, wear my glasses less and less. I'm short-sighted, uh, got a little bit of astigmatism, but it's nothing serious. I can see just fine without them. Um, so I'm trying to kind of strengthen my eyes a little bit, not wear them all the time. I have definitely never heard that before. Uh, you started it. Okay. Um. How about not? That's not so bad. That's normal in crowded stores. It's happened to me. Seems like. Uh, um... That's not your fault either. Theme parks can get pretty hectic. It's plain to see. Hmm. Duly noted. If I find vanilla ice cream, give it to her. <laughs> That's probably why the yogurt worked. Why is she making that face? It looks like she's bothered by something. Why is she being so insistent with this? Right? It's plain to see. Cause I'm playing is quickly becoming your catchphrase, Samugi. That reminds me. Didn't need to know that, but okay. Now I feel bad for never having talked to her before. Wait a minute. Huh? Jeez. Mmm, was it? No, it's not quite that. 
There could be a real spy among the ultimates here, after all. Shuichi. <laughs> Angie already tried, thanks. But Samugi looks like she's having fun, so I guess it's alright. Samugi and I parted ways, and I returned to my room. Dong bing bong. If you're not eating that, I'll uh Monokuma isn't here? What was that? No. Is the plane compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure everyone's already gathered there. I choose the gun if there is one. Oh yeah. Got it. Hey guys. Uh. Idiot. Mm. Yeah. Listen up. <laughs> oh hello. Upon hearing that voice, we all spun on a dime and saw him standing before us. Kokichi. A grenade and some hammers. You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. How did they not see him? You little... What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least, if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. Th that is that a bomb? Looks like it. Uh, the bomb? Yep, it's exactly that. Which means, if you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. What, are we going to play croquet? What the heck's going on? So? But Huh? Well, you know. <laughs> Just the two of us. It can't be. What did you say? Are you serious? I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. Kill everyone? If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? Well then, who wants to live? It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. Don't screw around! I... Why you... You bastard! Is that all right? Kokichi, you just don't get it. We're not gonna do what you want. Oh. Huh? What? <laughs> huh? Sure. Yeah. Ultimate anti Monokuma weapons? Could it be? Are you talking about the hammers? Cut it out. Uh... Yeah. How's that? 
Yeah. How exciting! Huh? Oh, it can, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Ah. But stop it. Always messing around. I'm disappointed. <sighs> yeah. Because this doesn't make any sense. If Mew made that weapon, why didn't she? Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Hats. Huh? Oh man! Well, you know. But... Maybe this explains why Mew is going to kill him. She didn't trust him and thought he was going to turn on us all. I'm pretty sure she was afraid to trust you. With good reason. Damn. Well, you know. N no. And you would lie about killing us just to test that theory? Yeah. Don't screw around. What's with the picture of the mouse on it? <laughs> yeah, so it's an EMP bomb. point. Where is Monokuma anyway? How are we gonna find him? See? No. Wait, wait, before you run off again, there's something I need to ask you. What was that writing in the courtyard? If I remember correctly. Did you write that? And if you did, why? I don't think you're smart enough to be the mastermind. Because? Suddenly a dark shadow slid between us, quick as a flash. Whoa! 
Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game, that's all! If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. Maki Roll, cut it out! You'll get killed if you don't! I told you, we can't play this killing game! That's just what Monokuma wants! Maki let go, and Kokichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. What? Kokichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. He left behind the hammers. Hmm. No. Hmm. Hey. Ah. Huh? Listen up. Ah, yeah, you're bleeding again, buddy. What is it? You know, huh? Uh, okay. Hmm. Hey, so you're right. I don't know. I still don't think that's gonna work. I see. Secret of the outside world. The despair Gunta mentioned. Was that a lie? Is it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. We have to try. All right. We must do it. What should we do? That punk. Come on, man. <laughs> Just punch him. <laughs> okay, okay. I see. Yeah. Got it. However, I'm still concerned that Monokuma has been so quiet. He hasn't shown himself at all since the morning announcement. Where is he? I suppose there's no point worrying about that. Not if I want to focus on moving forward. It's the only thing I can do. Keep moving forward. Kaido gave a triumphant shout, and we all grabbed our electro hammers. Yes. Hmm. That's not it. We left the gym in high spirits. All right. I need to go too. I should head to the underground passage. I took the final electro hammer and left the gym. Oh shoot, it was around the corner. Man, it feels really long ago that we tried to do this tunnel. Oh yeah, I was like, how do we get down there again? <laughs> All right. What should we do? Uh, actually. Huh. Don't worry about it. Ah. Oh. Those words. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's right. That's right. I see. Hmm. I told you. <laughs> you need to do it too, coward. That's right. That's exactly right. To keep the promise I made to Kaede. I will never give up. I can't give up. Yeah, how about we save? Without further ado, I've come this far. I have no choice but to believe. With the hammer that Miu invented, I know we can do it. I have to believe that. I kept repeating that to myself as I stepped into the tunnel. Here we go with this nonsense again. How do I jump? Okay. Whoa! I forgot about that. Yeah, that sound isn't annoying at all. Yeah, no chance we would have ever gotten through that without these. Well, no exit. Kind of what I thought. Finally, we made our way out of the tunnel. It was so long we thought there was no end. But there was an end indeed. And in the end, there was... Huh? That's right. Got it. Yeah. No. Sorry. Huh. Mm. Um. Do we know the code? All right. Let's look around. Could it be? This is a control panel for the barrier. If it's like the one in the Exesil hangar, I sh it should be able to disable the barrier with the passcode. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. No, good point. Okay. All right. That's true. Yeah. I don't think so. Beyond this door is our normal, peaceful, boring lives. We'll be able to go home to those normal lives. Secret of the outside world couldn't be that awful, right? Let's go! With that, Kaido swung the electro hammer and ah! smashed it down into the control panel. You just broke it. Now you can't leave. Lock disabled. Ah. 
Alright! Yes. Right, right! We all ran to the door. With our own hands, with our own strength. We opened that door. Our door to the future. A future of hope and despair. Ah! I, I can't breathe. The door is now locked. Barely conscious, we heard a sound in our heads. What happened? <laughs> Kokichi? Hey. See? Huh? <laughs> I shook my head, dizzy. The ground spun under me, but I managed to get to my feet. And at the same time... Damn. Hey, hey! <laughs> huh? The truth. What are you talking about? It's been destroyed. Hmm? Okay. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Please, wait! Hmm. Um, Kiba, we should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> the leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race. Yep, I think this is going where I thought it would. So they decided to implement a plan. The Gopher Plan. The Gopher Project. A plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end. So that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. But somebody interfered with that. The Gopher Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the human race. Sixteen young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. These Adams and Eves of the New World were known as the ultimate students. But the sixteen students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? I mean, I can kind of see it both ways. Who would want to leave their family and friends just to die? But you can't be that selfish, you know? If the human race is to keep going, somebody's got to keep it going. That's just hell right there. So then... The 16 students decided to flee from the project. Hence the hunt. Okay. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents. To become normal students. Oh, that's interesting. Hehehe. <laughs> 
Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. Consider it sabotaged. That's when the ultimate hunt began. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. Yeah, very subtle, making the, the hunters there look like zombies. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project claimed they were dead. Information claiming that all 16 students had died. That was our memory of the funeral. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt, shelter the 16 students, and carry out the Gopher Project. Again, though, something went obviously quite wrong. The Ark's launch succeeded, despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth. The 16 ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. How exciting! Huh? The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? Uh, wh what? Again, how does Ultimate Magic or Ultimate Magician help in any way? <laughs> the others I can see. And obviously you're not the ultimate liar. That was probably a lie. What are you the ultimate of? By the way. Which means... Well, that's... Mm-hmm. Huh? What? How exciting! Yeah. See? Ah, so we were awakened too soon. Ah. Hmm. You know? Hold up! What you guys just saw, that's Earth now. So it's already too late. What did you say? That's Earth, after a few hundred years. While we were in cold sleep. Ah, so they're all dead anyway. Nice. An Earth destroyed by meteorites. Without oxygen or living creatures. The equivalent of nuclear winter. An Earth without any cities. Or any people you knew. That is the truth of the outside world. Which means... <laughs> what? Yeah. Ah. It's a lie. You saw it's not. Man. So that means Huh? Anyway. That's what he says. I'm not sure I quite believe that. <laughs> but how? Well, you know. <laughs> Let's have more fun. What? It's a lie. <laughs> Kokichi took what looked like a remote control out of his pocket and fiddled with it. And a minute later... Exosols? What's going on? I thought only the Monocubs could control the Exosols. Well, I'm different. Since I'm the mastermind, I control everything in this school. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. Then... Don't tell me. 
Oh, man. Well, I know how to pick them, don't I? How boring. What is it? Maybe. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> Damn it. You mad? Yeah. Shut up. Always messing around. Uh, he still got the bomb. What? Deactivated. Wow. What? Every electro hammer powered down at once. Well, you know. But y you my bad. Please don't. Right? Always messing around. Don't screw around. Kaito. Wait. I tried to stop Kaido before he ran off, but I couldn't grab him in time. <laughs> stop it! But Maki's scream was in vain. For our very eyes, Kaido charged at the Exesel and was smacked down. He hung limply from the Exesel's hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. <laughs> These Exesels were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Ugh. That hair looks familiar. Huh? Maki? Give it back. <clears throat> Her eyes screaming murder. Maki glared at Kokichi and moved toward him. Maki. No, Maki, even if you... No use. I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Shuichi. But. <laughs> what did you say? Seriously, then, what happens now? We're not done yet, though. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. So it would seem. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. So that means... I don't know if I believe you. Huh? You bastard. 
registered. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. So that means... Huh? You really think I'm just gonna give it back? Stop it. Shuichi. No. You bastard. Well, you know. Ah, this fuck. This school is mine. I am the king. I, Kokichi Oma, am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. Yes. This world is mine! Sorry. I couldn't meet Maki's eyes. I gave Kokichi what he wanted. <laughs> Why even give it to me? Kokichi's evil yet innocent smile stayed on his face as he took the key. And then, he simply left. He solved the entire mystery for us, and left. He left us there with the truth. The truth of our despair.